Hey guys on YouTube, it's Maddie 17 here again. So, a few of you have asked now for a just a tour of um, what washing machines I've got at my house. Um, you saw the video before um, with Shakira Lover Forever. Because we actually have a joint collection. Um, the main bulk of it is at his house because he can accommodate it because he's got a big outdoor shed whereas I've got a garage and a small shed um, so yeah I mean this is basically the gist of it um, it's been heavily tidied up <laughs> which is why there was a delay on making this video purely and simply because it was just it was in a bit of disorganization um, just because I tend to just sort of put machines in here and play with them and then move them and then just kind of leave them where they're sat. So this I've turned into the the sort of star lineup. This is what I would call our precious ones in the collection, um, for me anyway. Um, you know, maybe not that dryer. <laughs> it's on top of the Le Maire, but it's there. Um, starting off, we've got our Hoover Commander Deluxe, which is an absolute gem great machine love it to death love the agitation love just the the style of it it's just great machine and it does amazing results then you're moving on to your frigidaire uh, rapid dry 710 custom deluxe um, this is needing a little bit of help um, it works all the functions of it work um, aside from the heater, in fact, the heater uh, trips the power every time I activate it. So, uh, you know, there might be some wiring that needs to be redone. Um, it is a little bit out of line, so that could have been me tinkering with it before, though. So I've got to get back inside it and tinker it with it again. But I'm just very tentative. Um, to do so just because of the fact that you know I don't have a hell of a lot of technical knowledge but I'm making it up as I go along uh, Leon um, otherwise known as May Fan I forget the number um, very kindly sent me the service manual for this series and range of machines so you know I'm gonna have a really good look and when I've got a decent amount of days off where I'm actually free I'm gonna have another go at it. Moving on to your Simps, our Simpson Instinctive Roll Stop. Um, it's a deluxe type model because it's got a heater. This is in pretty much as new condition. I'm yet to do a video for YouTube, but um, you can see that the rollers are in quite good condition. A little bit cracked, but nothing too too crazy. Let's move that out of the way. Um, the only thing this needed was a new plug. Um, there's a guy that had collected it for quite a few years um, and he hadn't ever bothered to put a plug on it. So this is a lint filter. So that's the lint filter attachment. Um, also a, a bit of an extra agitation kick as well at the top. You can see under there it's got a heater. It's all in really pristine condition. It's really in awesome as new condition. So that's that. That sits on there. That screws into there. Let me get this one out. There you go. You've got your Le Maire automatic wash and dry WD800, uh, which is a copy or a ver another version of what in. England, it was called the Colston Ariston, I believe. Um, washer dryer. This needs a new heater and it has grumbly bearings, but for the most part, it, it works absolutely fine as long as you have got it connected to a hot water connection if you want a hot wash. Um, then you've got your Hoover <laughs> Auto Dry Plus, which I've featured in a video. Um, here you've got your Kelvinator. Kelvinator. <laughs> You've got your Kelvinator heavy duty washer. 
model 269. Gorgeous machine, powerful. Please see my channel for other videos. Just pick this up while I think about it. Shocking. Um, recently I've fixed this Zanussi um, Auto Reverse TD260 dryer. It's a vented dryer. Um, it just needed a new plug. Someone had brought it over from the UK and never put an Aussie plug on it. So there you go. It works absolutely fine. It's in pretty decent condition. It looks, you know, looks in good condition. Works fine. Runs really smooth. And we've got a Hoover Zodiac 12, which I made a video of recently. And a Hoover Electra 535 dual spin which there is a video of one on my channel it's not this exact one though i need to give this one a proper run um, and give it a good clean out uh, this is in the uh, bay for fixing this is a Miele g664 uh, dishwasher that's tripping the electrics apparently the heaters on its blown so i just need to get another heater for it but that could be an easy fix we shall see i do like the dial in this is you know, proper time of our one. Back there we've got an, uh, ooh, a 1960s Hoovermatic that needs all new belts, of which I'm yet to source, because I think I'm going to have to get them made. Uh, we've got an Asato there. I went through this phase of buying the cheapest machines of different ranges. So this is the, ch at the time, this was the cheapest, highest capacity washer with, with a 1600 RPM spin. There is a video of that on my channel. <laughs> video of that on my channel that's a Fisher and Pike called Clean Smart um, there is going to be a video of this coming up um, the LG Intello washer dryer 7.2 and 3.6 pretty random kilos he, Fisher and Pike Intuitive brilliant machine love it to death we've bought a second one recently to um to use as a backup behind there is a LG turbo wash Eight kilo, my beloved Electrolux heat pump dryer, which love it to death. There's a hot point set that we picked up from a guy that had moved over from the UK, but he'd been using it here for years and years and years, and then he just decided to upgrade. So it's a matching set. You know, the washer's on my channel. Oh, there's NASCO tucked away behind there, a 1300 spin one. That'll be filmed at some point. There's a Miele and Navitronic buried back there. The Hoover 1400. Lots of views of that on um, YouTube. That was pretty popular. A recent acquisition, a Whirlpool Fresh Care Invertomoto model. Um, one of the most recent models. I'm going to do a video of that at some point. The 16 Kilo Samsung. Great machine. I love having these two together. Um, that's a LG Clothes Care uh, tumble dryer, and this is the dog trying to get me to play with his gingerbread man, but I will in a minute. <laughs> that's a great set to have because they're both high capacity, so I can always, if I need to, wash a duvet and dry a duvet easily or a large load of whatever. Um, moving out of the garage, in the shed, there's few bits and pieces there's the hoover poof, excuse me eight kilo um hoover 800 rl that's a beko that's a panasonic and the rest are all ascos there's an asco 2000 rpm tucked away at the back there um there's a there's the 1400 spin asco that i've filmed recently this one i'm yet to film it's a 1600 spin recent model um, there's a Hoovermatic Deluxe, non-heated model, right, yes, I know, Charlie, I know, I know, come on then, come on, come on, come on get it, it's over there, good boy. Oh, around the corner here, there's Hoover, <laughs> 9 kilo, which I'm going to film at some point and then sell on, this is the Azia Cylinder. 12,000, 1200 spin, 12,000 the model. Just clean that out. Oh, there's a salt sitting here, salt machine, which is a media made machine, I believe. That's due for selling on. Might do a film of it, might not. Um, my Wilkins Service Superheat Ringer, 
beautiful machine. Um, I've had to bypass the pump as the pump is completely seized. So, um, yeah, I use it when I can take it over to the to the sand um, trough over there and just drain it into that because, yeah, the pump just will not work at all. I've tried to free it up. Oh, look. Typical. Around the corner here is blankets that keep blowing off the line. There's a light burn. A light burn twin tub. Pretty unique machine. Um, it needs a new plug. Um, so I'm going to have to do that at some point. And but yeah, these pretty unique Aussie machines. They you know, were built by the same people that made cement mixers. So there's a washer tub back there with a drain and a screw thing back there. And then a spin dryer at the front. All right, Charlie, I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, let's have a quick look inside the house. Oh, what we got? Clothes everywhere. Another high sense, which I'll be filming pretty shortly. High sense steam mix inverter. Love this machine. Beautiful machine. Got a jet and everything. The Hoovermatics Deluxe heated model. Gorgeous machine. Love it. Love it. Love it. Huh. Buried under a bunch of debris is the Toshiba filter flow. Twin tub. The Electrolux Ultimate Care, which is just sat here for now. And in the laundry room for our daily driver at the minute, I'm using a Miele Novatronic W828, which I will do a proper video of at some point. I believe Simpson Auto has just got one of these. My dishwasher, my daily driver dishwasher is a Beko ProSmart Inverter. I'm doing pretty well so far. And my daily driver heat pump tumble dryer and um, varies between either the Electrolux or this pretty much. I either use the Electrolux or this, but this has been at Elliot's for a little while, so it's now back with me. So great dryer, a bit noisy, but does a great job. So that's pretty much it. I've got detergent everywhere. And, you know, that's just me. But yeah, that's pretty much the collection at my end. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and I will Catch you again next time.